This is a super exciting week for the world of astronomers because the wait is finally over. The team at the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration has released the first image of our supermassive black hole. Yes, our supermassive black hole because this is the black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. The presence of a villain at the center of our Milky Way galaxy was an obvious prediction of Einstein's theory of relativity. Or else how was everything going around it? These predictions combined with constant observation of stars and their orbits showed us that someone was there at the center of the galaxy and was pulling up stars from their orbits as they came by very close to the center. These predictions combined with the observations revealed that the villain was black hole and we officially named the black hole Sagittarius A star. But it took us all these years to confirm the predictions and observations using an actual radio image. Black holes do not emit any light and cannot be observed directly. But the area around a black hole consists of swirling dust particles and glowing gas constantly moving around it in order to fall into it. This can be observed as a ring of light around a shadow and the shadow itself is the image of the black hole. The groundbreaking image of Sagittarius A star was achieved with a network of eight radio telescopes located at different parts of the world, forming a virtual Earth-sized telescope and a team of about 300 astronomers, not to mention the number of supercomputers and observation lights involved. All this for one click? Now why was this image so difficult to capture? Even though the astronomers have already captured the image of another black hole named M87, this is because Sagittarius A star and M87 are very different from each other. When you compare them, Sagittarius A star is a thousand times smaller than M87 and appears almost like a dot. Also, due to its small size, you can see that the distortion or the movement around Sagittarius A star is much larger. Let me give you an example to make you understand this. Think of M87 as a landscape of mountains and Sagittarius A star as a waterfall. You might want to capture every detail of the waterfall and the mountains, right? So, when you're taking a picture of the waterfall, you might look into the details like a water dro droplet dripping. But when you actually take a picture using your normal camera, you get a splashy and blurred image of just water rushing. You see, this is the difference. Another reason why this was a difficult task is because even though Sagittarius A star is at the center of our galaxy, it is about 26,000 light years away from us. So the distance is very huge even though we are in the same galaxy because our solar system is located towards the end of the Milky Way galaxy. And the space between us and the black hole is filled with space dust, gas and debris. But jumping over all the huddles, astronomers have showed us through this groundbreaking result that nothing is impossible. This is the result of years of hard work, research and observation and now is the time to reap the fruit.